Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Casey, also known as Carolina Thrifter here on YouTube, coming at you today with a shipping video. It is literally the same day I filmed my last video, which was a what sold video on Wednesday. I don't know if I put this out on Thursday or Friday, but I have a big headed driver that I'm about to ship out. It's a Callaway XR driver. If you, if you did see in the last video, I sold it. And I want to do a shipping video on it because I watch a lot of resale videos and I see a lot of people talking about they can't ship big headed golf drivers. Or at least they can't do it or get a big headed driver like the one I am about to show you today in a USPS Priority Medium Shipping 2 box, which is provided free by the USPS Postal Service. And I do go through a lot of these and I use this for about every single golf club. And what I'm gonna do is ship this golf club, which is about a 460 cc head driver, if you can see that, into that box. And that is a very small hole to put that in. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do it and hopefully you'll get some good information out of that. So guys, let's get into it. Let me show you how I ship a big headed golf club driver. All right guys, so you're definitely gonna need a shipping tube. So just going over the materials that you need. The shipping tube, of course it's gonna stick out. If you haven't learned that if you have to stick out, you can Frankenstein these boxes. So I'm about to cut this one down. Got shipping tape, bubble wrap, tape measure and a weight and my razor blade. So basically the next thing I do, I just need to cut this down real quick. All right, my razor blade, just cutting that down. Just gonna get a little there. There we go. That's what we needed. We kind of need to get that going for a triangle, for a top box, if you can see. That will fit over the top of the golf club. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically angle the camera like you see it now to show me working. I used to see me talking because y'all wanna see how you ship the driver. So basically, I'm gonna bubble wrap the driver. I bubble wrap every golf club that I put in a golf box protect the head. So just get that good and taped up. Put the bubble wrap. So I got a good wrap now, so it should be good to go. And then you're gonna stick it in the box. Leave both sides open, because this is this part is gonna stick out the back. Hopefully you can see that, but I have both of these open, and you wanna go ahead and lift this one off because the driver is definitely, the head of the driver is definitely going to stick out. So let's get that up. That way it can expand and flex. Like I say, a lot of people tell you to go to the... Let's get this in there. So there, basically we're going to shove this in here and get it going. You kind of want to get it at an angle. It is not easy to do this. If you prefer, order the Amazon boxes off the link I provided, they do fit better. Yes, I receive a little commission, like a dollar. If you don't want me to receive the commission, I'll donate it, I don't really care. I wanna help you out, so it's my help video. So I don't think the driver's gonna fit that well, so I'm gonna rotate it around. There, I like that. So it takes some finessing, so you wanna squeeze this down now. Loop it back in. Get your piece of tape and then kind of tighten that down. That way it has some strength to it. And now I want to keep on making it stronger. I've done this a lot, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to do it than you. So don't get too frustrated. And some of you may have already done this before and know how to do it. But I do hear a lot of people do not know how to ship the big headed drivers. So here is my demonstration. So now we need to fold that in. So you can see it's expanded out. And this is going to be usually very aggravating to put back, but the way I've got it strengthened back there, it's not as bad. Just make sure you put some force behind it. So there, I got it to got it release or got it to snap together there. Take your piece of tape and go right here and tape it where that piece goes inside of the cardboard to latch it and put it over there there you go there we go put it back and let's see you go right here I usually put like maybe two or three on each side just to keep it going There you 
Then I'll tape it horizontally. That's pretty good to go. I'm still not satisfied with that. I still like to give it a couple wraps for head protection. So I'm gonna tape that up. And tape that down. Put this down. Coming down. We got this. Put this right here. Tool. Tighten that. All right, guys, so that's the finished product. You can see the head is in there very secure. I have no doubt this is going to, as long as USPS don't get too crazy, sometimes they do, this will get there safely. Look at it. I mean, this is how I do every single one of my golf clothes that has to be Frankenstein with big headed drivers. And I have gotten the biggest Nike Sasquatch 4 500cc head in one of these. I have no fear of it, so there you go. Well, guys, that's the end of the day's video. I have all my packages finally done from the Wednesday deal. If you can see, that was a lot of packages. So it was a big sales day for me if you want to go watch that. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you did get a lot of good information out of that one, just please give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And guys, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.